Hello everybody and welcome to day 21 of my beginner sewing course. Today we're going to learn how to install an invisible zipper. And if you don't know the difference between an invisible zipper and a regular zipper, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just can't really see the invisible zipper because it's hidden within a seam. Uh, whereas this one, you can always see it. Think of like a coat or a pair of jeans, you're going to be able to see it. But like if you're sewing a skirt and the invisible zipper is hidden uh, behind the seam, you actually don't see it. It just looks like a regular seam. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're also going to learn to make a facing because I want uh, our invisible zipper to be sandwiched between the facing and the skirt that we made yesterday. So I'm hoping that you kept it. If not, make another one. <laughs> make it short, uh, worst case, if you don't want to waste too much fabric. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. So to make this facing, all you have to do is make a circle skirt, but shorter. So let's say the skirt you chose was a half circle skirt. Well, you have to make the facing a half circle skirt as well, but just a couple of inches in length. Same thing for the other three types of skirts. So mine is a quarter circle skirt. So right now I'm just cutting my fabric in the shape of a quarter circle skirt and I made it four inches in length. So right here we have our quarter circle skirt and here we have our facing and this is how we're going to place the facing on the skirt. The idea is that we want our invisible zipper to be sandwiched between those two layers and we're going to put the invisible zipper at both edges. So let's take this off and close this. Instead of just doing one seam here regularly, regularly, we're gonna install our invisible zipper as well. So you're gonna take your invisible zipper, open it up, and then place it like this. I'm just gonna um, do this quickly to show you uh, kind of what it's going to turn out like. So first things first, we pin the side, then we sew along that edge right here. And then we're gonna wanna do the same thing with this side. So right now it's like this. We're just going to turn it like that and then turn it once again like this. So now you see it's kind of mirrored. The zipper teeth are on the outsides. So let's just pin this quickly. Okay, now that it's pinned, we'll be able to close it. So um, before you close it, make sure that the zipper teeth are like this because sometimes like you can be all twisted oh. <laughs> or like this like that's what happened to me at the beginning like when i first started sewing i was like well it doesn't close i messed it up but no you just have to put it like this so when you close it right now it's not very well pinned but this is what it's supposed to look like so it's going to be hidden and right now um this is sticking out but with the facing um, it's actually going to be sandwiched, sandwiched with like within it. <laughs> so we won't be able to see, um, the top of the zipper. And then we're going to have to finish this seam off just with the regular seam. So I'm just going to unzip it and unpin everything because we have to do the first step when it comes to, um, invisible zippers. And that is to um, iron your invisible zipper. So you see those teeth right here, like how uh, it kind of rolls towards the zipper. We're gonna wanna press that open so that it lays flat because when we um, sew, we wanna sew like across that line right here. And um, that's gonna be di difficult without invisible zipper foot. Um, but it is possible to do it with a regular foot. That's what I do. That's when my invisible zippers don't look like the best all the time. It's because I don't have an invisible zipper foot. I will buy one because it's going to make the whole process easier. But I'm just here to show you that it is possible to do it without one. So let's, let's get our iron. So start with your invisible zipper unzipped and just finger press that open so that you can use your iron. And just 
iron it open be careful because it is plastic and you don't want to melt it but like this very very simple you see the difference this one's flat this one is curved or rounded there we go now you're ready to pin it okay so the first thing we're gonna want to do is fold it like this so that we can see the edge where we're gonna place our zipper and like i said before we're just going to like let me do this to help you um our zipper starts like this we want that um side to be on here so remember that Now we're gonna take our pins. And I want like, you see this little plastic thingy? I want it to be around here. And um, this time I'm actually not gonna use a half inch seam allowance. I'm just gonna place the zipper directly on that edge just to make it easier for you guys. And then just start pinning. Okay, now that that's pinned in place, we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and use a straight stitch all around that edge right here make sure you get as close to the zipper um zipper teeth as you can without actually like going over them so you're just going to use a um a regular straight stitch um for this and the first thing you want to do is align um your needle gonna move my fabric out of the way that actually seems perfect so let me just do a couple of stitches and then back stitch okay I'm just gonna take out my pin okay and yeah just try to sew as close to that line as you can you can go slow if it helps So once you get to the end here, it's a little trickier, but just try to sew um, as far as you can. That's kind of like the farthest I can go, maybe a little more, yeah. Okay. So this is what it looks like here is not too too pretty but that's fine this is better so if you had an invisible zipper foot um those jagged lines wouldn't really happen you just have like a straight line and it would be like as close as possible to those zipper teeth but that's okay um and now what you're gonna do is actually just zip it up so you see how nice that looks you're gonna grab some chalk and mark where your last stitch is. For me, it is right here. Try to mark it on both sides. Okay. Perfect. Now you can unzip it. Whoops. All right, now you're going to, like I said before, twist it like this. Let me just do it again, just so you see exactly what I'm doing. You take it, it's like this, you flip it like this, and then you flip it again, like that. And you want that plastic thingy to be around like the same height right here. That's just a couple of millimeters um, above the edge or the top of our skirt. That looks pretty good to me. So now we just pin the whole thing. All right, now you are ready to stitch along that edge right here. So this time you're going to start at the opposite end of the zipper. So right here and try to start um, at that chalk line that you marked earlier. 
the head of your zipper, whatever that's called, uh, might be in the way. So just be careful um, with that. Okay, that's good. So just stitch and then back stitch. And then back stitch at the top as well. Perfect. And that's what it looks like, a little jagged here, but that's okay. All right, this is what we are left with now. So as you can see right now, my zipper is not on the right way. So this is better. And the beginning looks good. The end looks good. Um, I followed my lines right here. So let's just close it. Looks perfect. Amazing. Uh, so now the last step is just to close this and also to uh, put our facing. So how are we going to do this? Well, first, grab your facing. And so this is the right side of the fabric, right? Because when we uh, close the zipper, we can't see it anymore. This is the wrong side. So now just take the right side of your facing. This is the right side because the wrong side is all like dirty. And we're gonna wanna place them right sides together. So this right here, we take that corner. If I put them like this, they are right sides together. And what I'm gonna do is place them together all around and stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance all the way across here. And then when I arrive here, I'm going to stitch all the way here. Um, and that is going to uh, sandwich the zipper between those two layers because once I turn it right side out, like this part is going to be hidden. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let's just um, pin it and you're gonna see what I mean. So this has pinned a little, let me show you what I meant. So once you turn it right side out, so like this, this is what's going to happen. This is going to be folded like that. And your zipper, this is all we're gonna see of the zipper. So no more of that ugliness. And the top, like that's gonna be folded. So it's just gonna be folded fabric. Uh, so that's going to give a really nice finish because um, we don't want to see the zipper. It looks ugly. So let me just finish pinning it. All right, I'm done pinning. So now let's take it to the sewing machine and let's sew. So let's start here. Do um, like half the distance between um, uh, the edge of your fabric and the edge of your zipper. So right in between here and then just use a quarter inch seam, seam allowance all around this. And here and here and once you get here uh do the same thing so just half of that and when you get to that corner don't like finish off your seam by back stitching and then uh cutting your thread like just pivot your fabric let's do it okay so you start here try to put it at the middle take off your first pin and start at that edge right here Of course, here you want to back stitch. Just keep sewing. You can also feel it, right? Because there's a bump. So just make sure that, like, even if it's not like the most straight sewing ever, it's fine. Just make sure you don't sew over that line until you get here, of course. That's my lipstick again. All right, now you're gonna pivot. And this is when you can actually sew on that bump. Don't worry, your needle will be fine. Okay, so this is what we are left with. Um, what you're gonna wanna do now is trim off 
the top here because that's just going to create bulk, like unnecessary bulk. Perfect. And now you can turn it right side out. Push on those corners. Okay, um, we should iron this, but that's just like an example, so no need to do all that. Now take your zipper, close it, and okay, look how neat that looks. So this is your invisible zipper, and from this side, it's like fully hidden, so isn't that amazing? Now, if you want this project to look amazing and professional, you would have surged that edge first uh, and then ironed it and everything. Um, now, the last step is just to close this off. So, let's do it. So, this is open. This is when our seam meet. So we're just going to pin it. So once you start sewing, try to sew as close to that line as possible and just follow that line. We didn't use half an inch seam allowance here. We just used like <laughs> whatever that is. So just uh, do a continuation of that line all the way to the bottom. It's not always easy to get that zipper out of the way. That zipper is always in the way, unfortunately. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna put it a little farther because I don't want it to look ugly. Okay. Okay, so just start sewing, back stitch, take out your pin. And just, just keep sewing. Back stitch here. And trim off the thread. There we go. That's honestly probably as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> I know it's not like close, close, but it's pretty close. Uh, what you can do if you have a really long tail, uh, which right now we don't, uh, you can just trim off the excess. Some people use like those kinds of scissors to make it nice like that, but I don't have them, so I just pff, trim it off. And that's fine. So um, this is what the facing of the skirt looks like, like the inside. Um, this is what it looks like from this side, so like really neat. And then that's what it looks like from the outside. Just the regular old skirt with an invisible zipper. Well done everyone, we did it. All right, we learned how to install an invisible zipper. That wasn't so difficult now, was it? Um, it's a great little trick to center chip between um, the lining and the main fabric, or in our case, the lining, uh, not the lining, the, the facing and the main fabric. So I guess this was kind of like a two-in-one, learning how to do a facing and uh, an invisible zipper. But yeah, your homework is just to practice with your invisible zippers and you don't have to like spend a lot of money on buying like new ones. What you can do is just use your seam ripper and rip out all those stitches and just try again. Uh, I know that's like a lot of time, so you don't have to do that. Honestly, just getting the presser foot is gonna like kind of save you of all that work because your lines are just gonna be straight. You saw my lines are still not straight. I really, really need to invest in an invisible zipper foot and I will. But anyway, I will see you in day 22.